standby for manual transmission in three, two, one. Howdy buckaroos, Manus Dextra here. So, I've been playing a lot of Red Dead Redemption 2 lately. It was one of my favorite games for PS4 last year, and I've been having a great time revisiting the world on PC. Luckily, in my 100 hours or so, I've had very few problems with a single player game. I haven't tried online yet, and I hear that's still a bit of a mess, so I'll probably be sticking to single player for the time being. So, despite the fact that this is one of my favorite games, one thing about the game that has always bothered me is how hard it is to do any crime without incurring a bounty. And what's worse, if you do a crime and things go sideways, your bounty can run so high that it will cost you all of your loot and then some. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, this pretty much sucks all the joy out of armed robbery. But, not to worry, because I've found a nearly foolproof way to rob a train for $200 plus each time and get away with no bounty at all. And I'm going to show you how to do it too. So, without further ado, let's get to it. So this robbery started out pretty bad, but it ended up being successful. I'm going to go ahead and walk you through it, show you what I did right, what I did wrong. But my plan here was to uh, get changed into my robin clothes and get up here and camp out next to the railroad tracks until the train came by. The problem is, the train was already coming as you can hear in the background so uh, I was in a rush to get everything ready that the hat right there the miners hat comes in really handy when you're doing this and I'll show you at the end of the video where you can get this miners hat if you don't have it but yeah my plan was to board the train and stop the engineer you can see that got botched and my horse is about to die. I just, just bought the horse and got him bonded up to level 4. And I didn't want the horse to die, so I went ahead and revived him. And I thought this was going to be a wash. But as you can see, I managed to get on the train. Though I'm in the wrong place here. Don't have my mask on yet. So I'm jacking around trying to do that right now. <laughs> Luckily, the guard is not that sharp because he didn't realize what's going on yet. But yeah, what I'm trying to do now is get up to the engineer to get the train stopped in the tunnel. That's very important if you want if you want your robbery to go well. So right now, just running through all the passenger cars. I'm gonna get up here to where the train guards are, and you just got to take these guys out. There's going to be like three or four of them up here, I think. Alright. So, yeah, you got to gotta get up here. And the important thing is to get the train stopped in the tunnel. And you can see I was just barely able to do that. But get up here threaten the engineer and he will stop the train and he'll keep it stopped so now next thing I want to do this is where things start to go wrong again a little bit is I want to blow this safe <laughs> and you can see I kind of screwed that up pretty bad but I managed to escape the blast and I get back up there, and I'm not quite sure what's going on with this, because it looks like there's a couple of coin purses in there, but the first thing I get is there's that pocket watch, and it will not let me pick up the pocket watch for whatever reason. By now, I'm, you can see I glitched through the floor there, too, and I, I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm, I'm still pretty rattled because the way things didn't go well at the beginning, plus i got to take care of these guards that are coming in from the back of the train so at this point I pass up a safe right there too and I decide just to kind of cut my losses with the safes and get the passengers but you know luckily I did get my miner's hat back because if I hadn't of it would have been dark in here and I would have had to jack around with a lantern which is kind of awkward it's just a lot better if you can do it with a miner's hat but yeah at this point 
I wanted to work my way through all of the passengers because this is where you're going to get the most loot by far. So yeah, we're just gonna work work our way through the passengers. And you can see, you know, you average anywhere between five and fifteen dollars a piece from each of these passengers with you know cash and jewelry and that kind of thing. So yeah, the, yeah, you're gonna make most of your money sticking up the passengers. And so that's what I wanted to concentrate on. And you can see though, you're also going to take a hit on your honor every time you rob one of these folks. So, you know, if you're trying to play, do an honorable playthrough, uh, you might want to consider that before you do a lot of train robberies because it, it will definitely knock your honor down. But yeah, you can see right there I got a gold nugget from that guy. So yeah, you, you, you definitely want to take your time and rob each one of these passengers. Lord, help me. And, and, you know, like I say, I want to go through and show you all this just so you can see that if you stop the train in this area, you will have enough time to, uh, you know, work your way through all of these passengers. I said, hand over of course, what take you got. Just don't hurt me. Give it to me. Please. So I think I've only got a couple of more, couple more passengers here, and you know, usually I don't, I don't really think there's anything too worthwhile on the back of the train. I went back here to check, and I didn't spend a lot of time though, because like I said, I'm still rattled by the, even though things are going pretty good now. I'm still rattled because of how bad things started, but yeah, there's, I think usually the safes are up in the front part of the train and there's not really a whole lot that's worth spending any time on toward the back of the train. So at this point, I should have gone back up to the front and spent a little bit more time on the safes, but I didn't want to press my luck. So... You know, at, at this point, all I really, the only thing on my mind was getting on the horse and getting the hell out of here. Uh, and I, in hindsight, after, you know, especially after watching this replay, I think I would have had time to go back up there and try my luck with the saves again because you can see what happens. The, there's still no law here. They're going to spawn, however, as soon as I get out of the the uh, tunnel. So you can see right there, I've got that wanted warning. But the lawmen haven't seen me yet, so they haven't identified me. And that's really that's really key is to is to get you know get as far away from the train as possible. I'd stay off the road because that's where the lawmen are going to spawn is on the road. But yeah, if you can, if you can stay away from them until uh, the little uh, wanted indicator drains all the way down and stay out of uh, eyesight of any lawmen, you will get out. You will get out of this with no uh, bounties at all, as you're about to see. So if you look down on the radar, though, you can see they're still pretty close. And I would have been, I'd have been screwed if they'd gotten close enough to, uh, you know, put eyes on me at all. Because that's that's the one thing about when you're doing a crime, if lawmen can see you at all, it doesn't matter if you've got a mask on, they will always make you as Arthur Morgan. But you can see here, uh, I managed to get away without being identified, so... I'm not wanted anymore, don't have a bounty to pay off or anything. So everything 
from that robbery was pure profit. And now we're going to go to the fence and we'll be able to figure out what our final tally was for the whole thing. So here we are uh, going to see Shady Seamus down at Emerald Ranch. And I mostly wanted to put this clip in so you could see that really cool lightning strike that happened because because we're going to have to stop and wait till morning before uh, Seamus will deal with us. So as soon as we do that, I'll be right back. It's worth so when we I'll started buy. the robbery, we had $1,940. You can see, you can see what our takings are—a little over 115. Oh yes. So far, People now after we sell all, all of our goodies. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Shame to part with it, I bet. Pick this up off the street, no doubt. So in the end, we come out with a grand total of $2,139 and some change. So we made almost exactly $200 on this robbery. And if we had been able to uh, deal a little better with those two safes. They usually have about $50 worth of cash and loot in them, so we would have had another $100. But either way, not a bad, not a bad haul overall. So before we wrap this up, I uh, want to show you where the miner's hat is, like I promised. Um, so you're going to find it in this uh, mine which is located on the slopes of Mount Shan, which is kind of between, I guess, the town of Strawberry and Big Valley. So anyway, you're going to find a miner's hat next to a body that is in this mine, which we're about to come up to. So yeah, where this where this body is right here, there's gonna be that hat will be laying on the ground there. You can just swap it that hat with the one that you currently have on, and you don't won't have to worry about losing your current hat, but you will have this one available in your inventory. Uh, so that's where it is in the mine. Now let me show you where the mine is actually located on the map. All right, so you can see the uh, map is actually called Burl's Dream. And uh, like I said, it's it's around Mount Shan, uh, kind of in between Big Valley and Strawberry. But yeah, there's, you know, it's, uh, it's really not that hard to find if you nose around and follow the trails. All right, so the last thing I want to cover before we bring this video to a close is the exact location for where you want to set up the train robbery and where you actually want to uh, board the train. So if you'll notice where I've got this map marker right here, this is pretty much exactly where you go bear hunting with Hosea early on in chapter two. So you should be familiar with where this location is. What you're going to want to do is take the trail to that location then you're going to ride up the valley to that point where the marker's at right now because that is the entrance to the railroad tunnel. And that's where you're going to want to board the train and uh, like I said the, the first thing you're going to want to do is head up to the engine and get the engineer to stop and once the train is stopped, you should have plenty of time to thoroughly rob the train at your leisure. Alright, so I think that's uh, about it for this video. If you found the information I've presented you with useful, I would really appreciate a like. Uh, if you want to see more content on uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, consider subscribing as well. I've got uh, a few more videos uh, planned in the pipeline, especially if you're having trouble finding that uh, perfect badger pelt. I think I can hook you up pretty soon with that. 
And I've also got some videos coming for Battletech and some more Elite Dangerous ship builds. So yeah, if you're interested in any of that stuff at all, uh, consider subscribing and uh, you will see that content very soon. So in the meantime... Now be released from manual control. Mr. Dextra thanks you for your cooperation. You will now be released from manual control. Mr. Dextra thanks you for your cooperation.